let's talk about the signs of trauma bonding in narcissistic relationships. The first sign of trauma bonding is intense emotional roller coaster. In trauma bonding, you feel so much highs and lows, and these emotional experiences are very exciting, but yet very dangerous and addictive. So you might feel really excited, feeling like you are experiencing this romantic, happy love, and then everything goes south, and this cycle gets repeated and repeated, and because you experience those highs, you get addicted to feeling that much excitement. The next sign of trauma bonding is having fear of abandonment. This relationship might be really toxic and you might know that this is not a secure, happy, healthy relationship that you want. But still, you might have this fear of being abandoned by your narcissistic partner because you are kind of hooked and addicted to this relationship, to the hormonal changes it has for you, to experiences that you have, and it's really hard for you to think that you wouldn't have this relationship in your life. And you might find yourself constantly thinking about what they're doing, where they are, even if they're at work or even if they're spending time with their friends, you're constantly worried and you're not stable and secure in your relationship. The next sign of trauma bonding is isolation from a support group. After a while of being in this toxic relationship, you find yourself very alone. You find yourself distanced from your friends, your family members, and other people in your life. One of the reasons is that the partner is manipulating you to believe that they are uh, your only source of love and connection. And another reason is that because you feel so much ups and downs and you're constantly worried about the relationship, other relationships are not as fun and exciting or important as this relationship. The next sign of trauma bonding is excusing or rationalizing the behaviors of your partner. Your partner might misbehaving you or have abusing behaviors, but you make up excuses for their behavior. You might think they had this traumatic childhood and that's why they're behaving this way. You might think they have this big project and now they're stressed. You might think that they're stupid or they don't understand human relationships and you bring up excuses. So any excuses that you have for this behavior is just an excuse. No matter what was the reason, they're still abusing you and harming you. The next sign of trauma bonding is having a sense of loyalty to our partner. Even though we know this relationship is not really good, we have this sense of loyalty toward our partner. It's like we are their parents or their caregiver or their only friend. It's like we understand them so much that we don't understand ourselves. We also have this fear of what's going to happen if we leave this relationship. And again, these are only because we're addicted to feeling those emotions, those intense emotions that we feel in these relationships, which are not healthy. It's just like consuming lots and lots of sugar and being high and thinking that it's really good, I should continue doing it. But intellectually, we know that consuming those much sugar is not good for us. No matter how good it feels, eventually it's going to feel really bad. The next sign of trauma bonding is the loss of identity. In these kind of relationships, our world is revolving around our partner. We constantly think about them, we only want to spend our time together, and because of that, we are distancing from our true self. Gradually, we don't know who we are, what we like, what we dislike, what were our goals, our dreams, desires. And the longer we stay in these relationships, the less we are in touch with ourselves and our desires. If you like the video, please like it and share it with others.